If you've fallen behind with your council tax and missed payments, you're in arrears. It's really important to be proactive when dealing with council tax arrears because they are what we call a priority debt. Priority debts are those which can have serious consequences if not paid and should be dealt with before other non-priority debts like credit cards. If you ignore council tax arrears, it's likely your council will take you to court quickly to get all the money at once. You'll have to pay court costs and possibly bailiff fees as well as your debt, which can massively increase what you owe. It's important to contact the council as quickly as you can. If you're struggling to pay, ask your council if they'll let you pay your council tax in smaller amounts. You'll probably be asked to commit to paying a regular amount each month. If you're not sure how much you can afford, you can use our budgeting tool or speak to us at Citizens Advice. You should also check whether you are entitled to any reductions in council tax and apply for those discounts as they are not always applied automatically. For more information on council tax reduction, please see the link in the comments below. Your council will usually apply to the courts for permission to collect the debt from you. This is known as a liability order. They might then send a bailiff to your home or take money from your pay. Dealing with bailiffs can be really stressful, so here are our top tips on dealing with bailiffs. Firstly, don't ignore a letter saying bailiffs will come to the property. Before you speak to bailiffs, check the extra rules they should follow. If you are disabled or seriously ill, have mental health difficulties, have children or are pregnant, are under 18 or over 65, don't speak or read English very well, are in a stressful situation like recent bereavement or unemployment. You might be able to get more time to deal with the notice of enforcement by asking for a hold on any action and charges whilst you seek advice. Or you might qualify for the new breathing space scheme, which can stop enforcement action for 60 days to allow you time to access debt advice. Please contact us for more information. But what if bailiffs do come to your home? What can you do then? Bailiffs, also called enforcement agents, visiting your home can be a stressful experience, but you have rights and you shouldn't be bullied. Bailiffs are only allowed to try to come into your home between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. You shouldn't let a bailiff into your home. It's always best to try to sort out your debt by keeping them outside and speaking through the door or over the phone. Make sure your doors are locked and your windows are closed. Bailiffs are allowed to come in through unlocked doors. If you have a porch with a lockable door, you should lock this too. Depending on the kind of debt you owe, the bailiff will sometimes have the right to force entry by asking a locksmith to open your door if you won't let them in. It's very unlikely they'll do this. You should still have the chance to pay without them coming in. Call 999 if you're being physically threatened by a bailiff. Don't let them into your home. For further information on dealing with bailiffs and council tax debt, please contact us or visit our website.